Race has always been a controversial issue, especially when it comes to United States history. Even though people no longer accept racist slurs and stereotypes, a different and invisible form of discrimination has emerged. But, what exactly is the problem? We must tackle the concept of white privilege. But, this is a huge topic. So, we will focus on one particular people as a microcosm of the bigger picture. However, before we can analyze their experiences, we must know a little of their history. There are different types of Hmong people. We will focus on the ones living in Laos, the Orange Country. The United States government recruited them as soldiers during the Vietnam War. But the United States left, and the Viet Cong wanted retribution. They escaped through the jungle and into Thailand, where they were placed in refugee camps. In 1975, the first Hmong refugee arrived in the United States. Compared to the modern society of the United States, Hmong practices and beliefs are often seen as primitive and backward. Unwilling to change their views and beliefs, a lot of Hmong people have been unsuccessful in assimilating into Western culture. So what does this have to do with white privilege? When I look at myself in the mirror, I see a person. When I look at myself in the mirror, I see a woman. When I look in the mirror, I see a Hmong woman. The distinction that you are different never goes away. I definitely felt like I had to prove myself to my peers and my teachers. Being a first generation Hmong American is hard. You're split between two completely different worlds, but it doesn't make us stupid. You know, as a kid, I thought I was stupid. I thought my parents were stupid because they were Hmong. I was young. I didn't understand their sacrifices or their bravery. I didn't think about it. Back then, I thought about how hard it was for me to raise my hand confidently to answer a question. Why can't I be like all these white people around me who are so smart? Why am I so stupid? And I thought it was because my parents didn't raise me right. They raised me to be Hmong, which is associated with being stupid. And now I'm bitter that I still have this ridiculous inferiority complex. I'm bitter at society and at this invisible institution that will never go away. A common problem that arises is that people of color aren't seen as credible unless they have professional degrees. Here's an example. Radiolab conducted an interview on Yellow Rain. There's a sad lack of justice. That, that, that the word of a man who survived this thing must be pitted against a professor from Harvard who's read these accounts. But um, as far as I can tell, your uncle didn't see the bee pollen fall. Your uncle didn't see a plane. Well, All of this yeah. is hearsay.
I agreed to the interview for the same reason. That Radio Lab was interested in the Monk story. That they were interested in documenting the dust that happened. There was so much that was not told. Everybody knows that chemical warfare was being used. I have to ask questions and search for truth, but in this case, given how much Mr. Yang had already suffered, I should have done it with more respect and more gentle. Privilege can be hard to see, but it is clear that privilege exists. If my voice sounded like this the whole time, it would not have sounded as credible as it does when it sounds like this. This too is a privilege.